In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite coverages out of the nickel 335 wide that can really slow down a lot of the meta offenses that you might be facing online or in weekend league or in money games. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we share every single day here on the YouTube channel. And like I said in this video, we're going to be going over my nickel 335 wide out of my 46 defensive ebook. If you want to get my entire 46 defensive guide i think it's the best defense in the game and you can get access to that by clicking the link in the description i put a link down there it'll take you right over to the website and you can get that whole defensive system for just 15 bucks the 335 into the 335 wide allows you to create the best coverage concepts in madden 22. Now, if you notice here, I've got the, if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, I've got the safety nickelback uh, package on. This is going to allow us to do some interesting and different adjustments that are really going to help us when defending the shotgun bunch, especially those deep crossing routes and deep corner routes that a lot of you are probably wanting to slow down. Now, real quick, you're gonna see here that I'm gonna click the right joystick in to hit that R3 button. I wanna go over my coaching adjustments against the uh, gun bunch. I like to actually base the line against gun bunch right now because I love to create uh, some of the coverages I'm gonna share with you. So if I've ever seen someone running gun bunch, I love to play base align defense against them. Auto flip is gonna be on. Ball and air defense is gonna be set to play ball. Option defense is gonna be set to conservative. Tackling is gonna be, you can put these on aggressive. I prefer just putting them on balance or maybe putting tackling on aggressive. Zone drop flats, we're gonna put these to 30 yards and this is gonna be a big feature um, to help us stop the crossers and the corners. And then for people that like to throw quick to the flat, I put my curl flats on five. Um, this is not always going to stop a flat route, but it is going to uh, do a pretty decent job at stopping flat routes as well as running back in routes and things like that. And then I'm gonna put my hook curls on 10. This is just to kind of, if I ever use yellow zones, I really don't use these too much. You could also put these on default or five yards if you want to. Now that being said, we're going to audible down into this nickel 335 wide Tampa 2 at the line of scrimmage. And I'm going to show you how to create one of the most effective coverage schemes against Shotgun Bunch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to audible down to the Tampa 2. Now, really simple adjustments to be honest with you. All we're going to do is we're going to put both of our linebackers on curl flat zones. Um, so you see here, this is what the, the play art looks like. Uh, as you can see, curl flat zones. And then we're going to put both of our safeties on outside thirds. So we're going to put the right side safety on an outside third to the right, the left side safety on an outside third to the left. And then the last adjustment that we're going to make is we're going to take our slot corner because we base aligned and we can actually put him on a middle third. And this is really the secret sauce to this defense. That middle third is going to take away post routes. It's going to take away any seam reads that they might have. And then if you want to, you can put your, you can drop one of your linemen into a hook zone. I personally prefer to just use this middle linebacker in this example. And I absolutely love this coverage defense because it takes away everything that is deep over the middle and allows me to kind of play a user game over the middle of the field to be able to absolutely slow down my opponent. Now I'm going to pump the ball back to myself for just a second here so I can show you another uh, concept that they're going to go to. But as you see there, you know, in my personal opinion, part of the reason why I like this defense is it's basically a spinoff of a Mabel coverage. It's it, it's kind of like a cover two uh, Mabel coverage is kind of what I'm going for here. And the number one reason why I like it so much is because when you pair an outside third with a 30 yard uh, cornerback cloud flat out of a Tampa two, when you pair those two together, it is virtually impossible. And I mean virtually impossible for your opponent to be able to throw deep crossing routes or deep corner routes. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go to everyone's favorite play the gun bunch verticals and i'm going to set up that same exact coverage now this coverage can actually be set up relatively quickly it's not as hard as you might think once you kind of get the hang of the adjustments as you can see i'm already set up here and if we take a look at this uh this crossing route out of the gun bunch you get three down lineman pressure which is pretty good this year and then look at this crosser there's nowhere to throw this i'm just going to swat it away so i can show you one more concept um, that they're going to be doing but you're going to take away all of that kind of stuff and 
And this is one of my favorite things to do whenever I'm defending someone that likes to run the gun bunch, especially some of the meta setups, um, because you're never going to get bombed over the top with this defense. You're going to have really, really good coverage over the top in terms of like, you're not going to get cover three bombed. You're not going to get cover four bombed. You know, you're going to have really safe coverage about as safe as you can possibly have uh, in Madden 22, in my opinion. And then the other thing that you're gonna have going for you is you're gonna be able, like I said, to stop a lot of these flooding concepts that is so popular out of the gun bunch. You see there the tight end routes taken, the corner routes taken, and the streak is taken. And we are forcing them to have to throw the ball at our user. And what we're banking by running this defense is that they're gonna make one or two mistakes per game and we're gonna be able to get an interception. That being said, guys, this is my favorite way to defend basically anything. I can run this defense against almost anything this year. Those 30-yard cloud floods do a great job at defending streaks and things like that uh, whenever they can pass them off to an outside third like we showed you in this video. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions about this defense or if you would like to get a free sample of the defensive guide, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And then once you send that, send over your questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide out of the 46 defensive playbook, I would encourage you to get that defensive guide. There's a link in the description. All you got to do is click that link. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to get my full defensive guide, there is a link in the description. And all you got to do is click that and you can get the defensive guide for just 15 bucks.